In this video, we're going to determine the uh, expression for determining omega naught, the natural frequency of this uh, filter. So we're deriving then an expression that will allow us to calculate omega naught, the value where the magnitude of the frequency response function has its maximum value, and in this case, that maximum value is equal to 1. Now it turns out that omega naught is equal to what is known as the geometric, geometric mean of the cutoff frequencies. Let me go ahead and write it here, and then we'll talk about it. The geometric mean is the square root of the product of the two values, omega c1 times omega c2. Now, an arithmetic mean is the average value of omega c1 and omega c2. It's the value that is halfway between those two values. That's the arithmetic mean. We're not calculating the arithmetic mean. Uh, arithmetic mean. Omega naught is not the average of those two. It's the geometric mean, or the geometric average, which is calculated by taking the square root of the product of those two. So plugging in for omega c1 and omega c2, we get omega c1 times omega c2 all under the square root. Now, you'll notice that omega c1 and omega c2 are conjugates of each other. They are the form negative a plus the square root of b and then times positive a plus the square root of b. So because we have an opposite sign, you can have a positive a root b and a negative a root b. The cross products are going to cancel. And we're left with negative a squared plus the square root of b squared, or b. So when we do that here, then, we get that omega naught is equal to negative r over 2l quantity squared plus the radical term r over 2l quantity squared, that's an l, quantity squared plus 1 over lc, the radical term squared, and that is all under the radical. Now, this squaring on the radical undoes the radical, which leaves us then under this big overriding radical, negative r over 2l plus undoing the radical here leaves us, r, I'm sorry, this is r over 2l quantity squared plus r over 2l quantity squared plus 1 over LC. So I have a negative term here, positive term, those add to 0. And we're left with then that omega naught is equal to the square root of 1 over LC. We've seen that before. Back when we were doing analytical solutions to second order um, circuits, the RLC circuits, under damp, over damp, and critically damped, you recall that. You'll recall that we had that square root of 1 over LC term that we referred to as omega naught. It's the same omega naught that goes with the same RLC circuit. Only in this case, we see that the omega naught value is what is known as the resonant frequency. It's the value that makes the magnitude of the frequency response function its maximum value, in this case, 1. Let's take this value of omega and plug it into our frequency response expression. So replacing omega here, here, and here with this square root of 1 over LC, we put it in here, we get the square root of 1 over LC, which when you square it undoes this radical and you get 1 over LC minus 1 over LC, this term goes to 0. And we're left with r over l omega divided by the square root of r over l omega squared. The r over l omega squared comes out of the radical as r omega over l, or r over l omega. Those two cancel. And in fact, the magnitude function evaluated at omega naught does equal 0.